Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, welcome back to another video. So uh, today I'm doing a Call of Duty tier list video. So if you don't know what this is, pretty much I'm just ranking all the uh, Call of Duty games from worst to best or best to worst in my opinion, right? So uh, quick disclaimer, I'm doing the whole game in general, not just multiplayer. So, uh, you know, multiplayer, the campaign, if there is one, which there isn't all of them, almost except one. And, uh, like, the zombies or spec ops or third mode, whatever it might be in that game. So, uh, this is all going into it, but mainly it is based off multiplayer. Like, if I had to give, like, a percentage, it's, like, 80% multiplayer, 10% campaign, 10%, you know, uh, zombies or spec ops or whatever. So, uh, as you can see, I have them all listed at the bottom. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you where I think Modern Warfare is going to finish. I am pretty hopeful about that game, so it's going to be high, but you'll see where I think it's going to finish. But at the bottom, I do have all the games in order. From uh, COD 4 all the way to Black Ops 4. Those are all the games in recent history. Uh, however many that might be, 12 or whatever. And uh, so yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to start with COD 4, obviously, right? So Call of Duty 4. I'm just going to put it there for now. <laughs> it's not going to finish there. Because I know some people love this game, right? But before uh, Modern Warfare Remastered, everyone used to hype this game up. People used to say, oh, COD 4 is like the best COD ever. People don't remember this. A lot of people used to say COD 4 was like the best COD. And then they remastered it, and no one talks about it anymore, like, ever. No one brings it up anymore in, like, the best COD conversation whenever we talk about that, right? No one ever brings it up anymore because they saw from Remastered that, I mean, it was a cool game, but, like, it wasn't that good. Even though Remastered is very different in a lot of ways because you kill a lot quicker because the hit reg is better and stuff. But you can still tell that. There's no way COD 4 is the best COD ever, okay? And But it's good. The campaign is kind of fun. I do have it platinum, so I got, like, all the achievements on this game. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, I think I'm gonna just drop it right there in the B. And, uh, also, I wanna add something. Uh, I'm just gonna put this here for now, so I can, you can get an example. Uh, if there's three games, like, in one thing like this, or however many games, just more than one, the game on the left is the best, and the game on the right is the worst. So, like, if it was like this, I think COD 4 is better than World of War, but World of War is better than MW2, right? So, just so you know. So let's just put that back. So that's where I'm putting COD 4 for now. Like I said, it could move around from left to right. But in terms of up and down, that's where it's staying. And uh, obviously, guys, S is the best. D is the worst. I don't think any COD is trash. I just have some that I don't like that much, right? World at War. This is going to piss some people off because some people are going to have this in, like, S tier, bro. But it's not. This game was boring. A lot of the maps are kind of doo-doo. Uh, very campy maps. Some of them are good. Don't get don't get me wrong. Like some of them are good. No kill streaks. Like you just had the standard like three five seven. The dogs are pretty cool, but they weren't that good. Dogs in World War War were not that good. I don't know where people are getting this idea from. They were not that good, and you could just knife them and they were they're done right. And uh, the campaign actually was cool. I like this campaign more than COD Four, but. Like I said, guys, stuff could change before the end of the video, but I think I'm going to have to just drop this, like, right here for now. There's no, there's not even camos in the multiplayer, guys, and there's no, like, you could only use, like, two guns in this game. There's no, like, there's no, like, parody, like, it's just MP40, and that's it. Like, everyone used MP40 with the extended mags and jug, and jug was ridiculous in this game. You couldn't use, like, the semi-auto guns because they were just not, they weren't up there, you know, you couldn't really use them. So we're just going to put that in C. Mono Warfare 2, a lot of people are going to have this in S. For me, I'm just going to tell you right away it's an A because the memories of Mono Warfare 2 is in S, right? And by the way, guys, I have played all these games a lot. Mono Warfare 2 is when I started playing, like, a lot, a lot, like, every day. But I did play COD 4 and Will I War enough to give an opinion on it. And uh, I've gone back and played them as well. But Mono for 2, the memory is an S, but the actual game itself is probably like in the middle. If there's a B, plus, I'd put it there. But I don't want to put in B because it is significantly better than COD 4, in my opinion. But we're just going to put it in A. But it might be at the end of A when we put more games in A, which there will be for sure. Campaign, uh, the campaign was okay, nothing crazy. It was like a B or C campaign. But multiplayer in this game was really fun. And the reason why it gets so much praise is because it really changed Call of Duty. Um, they added, like, customizable killstreaks in this game. Not customizable, but you, they added, like, different ones. Because in these two, prior to Modern Warfare 2, it was just 357, UAV, Airstrike, Dogs, or Chopper, right? But in Modern Warfare 2, they added so many streaks. AC-130, Chopper, gonna they added the nuke, too. This game added the nuke. That's crazy, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, the gunplay was kind of fun. You could use a lot of different guns in this game. 
I mean, Chris Mood was out here running an M16 every game, okay? You could do anything in this game. Uh, very fun game, but had a lot of problems. Obviously, the one-man army. But other than one-man army, uh, the game itself was just super campy. Like, if the kids who play COD now, that just started, like, within the last, like, four years, if they played Modern Warfare 2 now, they'd lose their minds because no one moved in this game. It was really campy. There was the death streaks, painkiller and stuff, and... People just camped, there were glitches all over the map, you could jump up on something you're not supposed to jump up on, the guns killed in one burst, two bullets, like, right away, and people didn't move, and the kill streaks like, stacked, right, so, if you had a Predator Missile, the Predator Missile kills would count towards their next streak, which it doesn't do that anymore, right, so, literally, as long as you were okay, you would absolutely dominate and get, like, the highest streaks in the game, you didn't have to be that good of a player, you could've just been, like, above average player and could've dropped nukes, right, so, uh, it's just an A game for me. Spec Ops was cool, but uh, it doesn't really play much of a part. It's an A game for me. Black Ops 1. Now, this is going to be my first S game. I, I feel comfortable putting in an S. Um, why is it better than Mono for 2? Is probably what a lot of people are going to say. Actually, maybe not as many people, because I know a lot of people love Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1. Okay, the campaign is one of the best. Like, top two. Might Probably the best. The zombies, also, one of the best. This... Uh, Black Ops 1 Zombies and Black Ops 3 Zombies are the best zombies in my opinion. Probably Black Ops 1 to be honest. So, uh, yeah, the zombies in the campaign were literally the best ever up to now. And the multiplayer was one of the best. It probably wasn't the best multiplayer. Uh, one of these games down here is the best multiplayer you guys will find out. But campaign, the best. Zombies, the best. The multiplayer was fun. Lots of customization. The maps were great. The kill streaks were great. Chopper Gunner. Dogs, Blackbird, this is the first game with the Blackbird, like, innovated a lot. The DLC maps are cool in this map. This was back in the day where, like, Black Ops 1 was, like, all-time peak. Like, when new DLC maps came out, everyone was hype. In Modern Warfare 2, it wasn't really like that. Black Ops 1 was, like, all the way at the top. Like, everyone was hype for the new maps and stuff, right? So, uh, it was just a fun game in general. And the best thing about this game were, like, the wager matches and the COD point system. So, there were COD points in this game, but not the type that you buy now with real money. It was like you earned them from playing, and with those points, you could unlock, like, any attachment, any streak, any camo. You just saved your points up, and you could buy whatever you want, and the points you got just from playing. And then you could uh, play wager matches, wager your points with other players, right? And it would be, like, gun game and stuff. And uh, whoever, like, won that would take all the points, and there were people like X-Jaws who would, like, get to, like, a million points or whatever. I'm sure you guys know who X-Jaws is. OG COD YouTuber. Modern Warfare 3. Oof. A lot of people love this game, bro, but I'ma just I'ma just tell you right away it's a C game and it's a low C. Like I'm almost putting in D. I didn't play this game that much. I actually didn't even buy it originally. I almost played Black Ops 1 for two years straight almost. And uh but I did like borrow this game from friends and I did I do think I eventually bought it. And I played it, it was fun. I hit like fourth prestige, so like I'm saying I didn't play it a lot, but Fourth prestige you played enough because there are 80 levels in each prestige in this game. And, uh, it's just an okay game. The campaign is not that good. It was okay, right? Spec Ops, whatever. But, actually, wait. Was there Spec Ops? There was the survival mode. That was actually kind of cool. Nothing like Zombies, though. It wasn't up there with Zombies. But it was cool. So, I give him points for that. That's definitely keeping it out of D, the survival. And, uh, another thing keeping it out of D is the, uh, weapon level stuff. I really like that. Like, when you hit a certain weapon level, you get, like, a proficiency thing. And that was just very cool, so they really, they innovated a decent amount for this game, but it was just literally Modern Warfare 2. People were talking about how Black Ops 4 is BO3, Black Ops 3.5, like, Modern Warfare 3 is literally Modern Warfare 2. The same, like, graphics, the same art style, everything is literally the same. Like, the maps look the same, like, the same textures and all that. So, I don't know why people complain. People just love to hate nowadays, bro. When Modern Warfare 3 was announced, everyone was hyped, even though it literally looks like Modern Warfare 2. But, whatever. Let me not get into that. Next up, Black Ops 2, S tier. Okay, I'm not a Black Ops fan, boy. It's just, they make the better games. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not my fault that, that Treyarch made the better games so far, right? Uh, Black Ops 2, remember earlier how I said Black Ops 1 had the best campaign and the best zombies, arguably? Well, Black Ops 2 has the best multiplayer, in my opinion. This was, like, the golden era of, like, competitive Call of Duty. It was really fun. And the game just was generally, like, just fun in multiplayer. The maps are great. The kill streaks are great. The orbital VSAT, which is, like, the Blackbird or the Hater. Not in Black Ops 4, right? But whatever. Uh, the streaks were great. The game was just so much fun. Maps played well. The gun, the gun variety was pretty good in my opinion. Obviously, the M8 
MSMC, PDW in the beginning of the year. Uh, they really dominated, right? But you could use, like, any gun in this game, realistically. The Fal, uh, there's a Type 95, there were other ARs. AN-94, how did I forget that? And then M8 and SMGs, you had the MSMC, the MP7, the uh, PDW, like I said, I know I'm missing a few. The, the Chicom or whatever, the Burst SMG, which was, like, the first ever. This game was just great. The campaign was one of the best. Like, these two are the best two campaigns, in my opinion. But I think Black Ops 1 is a little better. But that's crazy. This game, in my opinion, had the best multiplayer, the second best campaign, and like the third best zombies. The zombies wasn't that good in this game. Transit, overrated. They could have done better. Town was fun, but like it's a tiny little map, you know? Same with farm. And uh, yeah, so that's where we're at right now. And then this is where Call of Duty started going downhill for a lot of people. For me, I bought all these games and I played all of them, right? But actually, one of them I didn't really play that much, which you'll see. But uh, COD Ghost, I actually kind of like this game. Might be controversial. Uh, it's a fun game. The campaign is okay. Like, if I had to rate the campaign, I'd give it, like, a, a B, right? Uh, Extinction, which is, like, the zombies mode. That mode is honestly so fun and, and, like, underrated. It was so fun. Better than survival, better than spec ops. Not as good as zombies. But it was, like, it was really fun. It just got really repetitive because it was, like, the same storyline every map. And, uh, multiplayer this year was actually kind of fun, in my opinion. I like games where you kill fast because I think that when you kill fast like it's more dependent on your reaction time and your first shot right you could also make the argument for games where you kill slow because if you kill slower then you have to hit more shots right you have to be more accurate but it kind of goes both ways right because the uh, internet is important in both ways you know if you have better internet it's gonna help you regardless right but i love this game it was fun uh not the best cod not the worst i wouldn't mind playing it again right i do have it on my ps4 but not installed uh i think i'm gonna put it right here b i rather play this than Model for 3 or World of War, but I'd rather play COD 4 Remastered over Ghosts. Uh, next, Advanced Warfare. The other game that I didn't buy a release. I don't remember what I was playing this year. Definitely wasn't Ghosts. I think I was kind of like, I was getting into like FIFA and stuff, right? But uh, I did buy it eventually, I think around January. Because, you know, I wanted to try it, of course, right? And Call of Duty, I always love it. And I always play it no matter what. Uh, so, Advanced Warfare is very interesting. Um, I honestly don't know where to rate it. Somewhere B or C. I don't think it's a D game. I do like weapon variants. That might come across weird, but I feel like they added something to the game and just having more guns you could go for that were different. It was kind of like having completely new guns, right? They just kind of looked the same, but even then, they looked different. Uh, it was just the same gun, essentially just different stats, right? So it was like a different gun. So I, I kind of liked it. Introduced supply drops. It was cool, in my opinion. And, uh... I don't know where to put it, man. It's hard. The campaign was actually kind of cool, so I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it right here. I think it's better than these two. I'm sorry. I just think it's better. Uh, let's move on from that right away. The zombies was not good, okay, but that's why I didn't even mention it. Black Ops Three. Ooh, there's some people that are gonna have this, and I think everyone has it either somewhere between C or A. Like there might be some people who have an S, but you're tweaking, bro. If you got an S, I'm sorry. Black Ops Three is fun, but I think the highest you could put it is at A, which I might, you know, it's better than these five games right here, uh, let me move that like this, it's better than these five, but, uh, the, there was, the campaign was horrendous, right, the zombies was really fun in this, this is like the second best, or the first best zombies in my opinion, the Rise and Drac, best map ever, the bows, yeah, it was super easy, but that's why it was fun, right? Because you didn't have to be a hardcore zombies player to do good on that map. It was just super fun. Bows were awesome. And zombies was great. Uh, multiplayer, though. They actually, like, really, like, fixed up the advanced movement from Advanced Warfare. And uh, they actually made it better. So, that was always an improvement. The customization was great. The supply drop system was great. I like how you got the, the black market points. I forgot what they're called. It's been a while, but... Yeah, it's just a fun game. Mult uh, multiplayer was just great, and competitive was great this year. The streaks were awesome, one of the best streaks ever. Uh, probably behind Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 4. Yes, I said Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 streaks are amazing. Underrated streaks in Black Ops 4, guys. Just no hater really throws it off, but other than that, it's great. Uh, you know what? Pfft, damn, this is going to gonna piss some people off. <laughs> uh, we're putting it like this. I think Black Ops 3 is better than Model for 2. Uh, yeah, that's my opinion, right? Infinite Warfare, the only D game. 
I don't like this game. I bought it. I did all that because I, I played Black Ops 3 the year before. And I was like, hey, Infinite Warfare looks like Black Ops 3 combined with Advanced Warfare. How could it be that bad, right? And I just didn't like it. The campaign was actually really good. I really liked the campaign. And same with the zombies. But multiplayer was just not it for me. I don't want to get into it. I didn't like the maps, the guns, uh, the supply drop system was great honestly but i just i don't know multiplayer is a huge thing for me and the supply drop system being good the campaign being really good and the zombies being okay is not enough for me it's going to be the worst cod ever in my opinion for now uh these two are going to be interesting because these two are one of my favorite some of my favorite cods and a lot of some people hate world war 2 and some people hate black ops 4 i feel like the people who hate world war 2 stopped playing it after the first couple months because if you guys don't know the guys uh Condry and Schofield I think they got fired or they quit whatever whatever happened the guys who made the game essentially they didn't make the game towards the end of the year and a new guy took charge I don't know his name honestly sorry for that but the new guy changed everything he changed the divisions he changed like a whole bunch of stuff the streaks got better they added so many different like ribbons and the game just got so much fun. They continuously add DLC guns to this day. Like, to this day, they add DLC guns. It's crazy. There's, like, 30 SMGs and, like, 30 assault rifles in this game. Which is just fun. Some of them behave the same, right? But they look different. And it's just fun to use different guns. And, um, yeah, the campaign, A, in my opinion. It's an A campaign. Great story. The visuals are amazing. It's a World War II campaign. So it's always going to be pretty good, right? And uh, multiplayer, A. What held this game back, though, from being an S-tier game, like, if the zombies were, like, if the zombies was amazing, right? If the zombies was, like, Black Ops 1 level, this would be an S-tier game. But, I'm gonna put it A, and... Right now, I'm... Uh, man, I'm struggling here, because I really like World War 2. might come across crazy. Uh... I gotta do that, guys. I think World War 2 is, like, one of the best CODs ever. Straight up, I really do. I think it's really fun. Now this next one is gonna whew, this next one is gonna blow some people's minds. <laughs> Black Ops 4. Uh so like I said, campaign is ten percent, zombies is ten percent, multiplayer is like eighty percent. Just a general idea of how I'm ranking these games, right? But Black Ops 4, there's no campaign, but there is blackout. So for this game I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. Uh Majority of it is still multiplayer. I say like 60% of this game is how I'm rating is like multiplayer. But I'm going to give Blackout like 30% and keep like 10 to Zombies. Zombies was not the best in this. I would give it like a B or a C even Zombies in this game. B, 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 B. Uh, I like it. The new map, the last one, Tog Their Toe is actually really good. It's like the Call of the Dead remake or whatever. Uh, it's very good. But I'll give Zombies a B. Now, it's where it's going to get a little crazy. I know some people don't like this game, okay? Where I'm rating the game. Obviously, the microtransactions and the supply drop systems are, you know, they're in the game. It's a part of the game, right? But we really, like, overreacted this year. Super hard, bro. We overreacted. When I say we, I mean, like, the community. Because we played BO3 and had no problem. But BO3, you literally couldn't get stuff unless you got lucky, guys. And BO4, they, they gave us a battle pass. Sure, it didn't have everything. Sure, most of it was stickers. But there were stuff. There were bribes at the end. There were guns at the end. There were camos. There were variants or whatever. You know, visual variants, cosmetic variants. So we knew what we were getting. And if you wanted something, you could buy it right away. In BO3, you literally had to get lucky. So in this game, like, sure, it's a sick outfit. It costs like $15, which is a ripoff. But if you really love it, bro, you could spend $15 and buy it. Whereas in Black Ops 3 and other CODs, if they added some new outfits or some new camos or new new variants, you had to literally just open boxes and get lucky just straight up. And that's just very dumb in my opinion. We really overreacted to the microtransaction system. It was fine. I'm talking about the actual game here. The multiplayer is an S, bro. Like The multiplayer is amazing in this game. The way the game feels is great. The movement, the way the game feels, the recoil, all that. Sure, the health is a little bit too much. But like I said earlier with Ghosts, how it's less health, this game has more health. So I think it actually increases the skill gap because you have to hit people more for them to die. So in my opinion, that means you have to be accurate for a longer time, which takes more skill, right? So that's just the way I look at it. And, uh, you know, it's just very fun. The guns, uh, the gunplay is fun. You can use a lot of different guns in this game. You can literally use any assault rifle and do great. You can use almost every SMG and do great. So it's just very fun, in my opinion. The 
camos, the customization hit like in high a high this year. The reactive camos are crazy. And the outfits, crazy. They added new specialists throughout the year. I think they added three or four. I think it's three. But they added like three specialists throughout the year. Yes, they made promises that they broke. But the multiplayer was great in my opinion. It's an S tier multiplayer. It's up there with these three. With these other two. I haven't even talked about Blackout yet, bro. Blackout. Amazing. People made a name for themselves off of Blackout. And like there's people who stream just Blackout. You go on Twitch, the top guys all playing Blackout. Guys like Formal, obviously he's a pro, but he plays Blackout when he streams. Crazy. Like Blackout is really good. It's really fun. I didn't get into it too much. I'm like level 60. I'm looking at my other monitor here. It's actually on the Blackout screen because I was just playing some of the jetpack mode. But the uh, Heavy Metal Heroes mode, I'm only level 60, but that's still pretty high considering, you know, it takes a long time to level up unless you're really good, really good. And uh, they add consistently, they added new modes to this game, guys. For multiplayer, all the cra think about all the crazy cool modes they added, like Arms Race and Chaos Control, Deathmatch, whatever, you know, Deathmatch, Domination, or whatever, Mosh Pit. They added cool modes throughout the year. Sure, there were times where they added Infected and stuff and no one really cared. But it's never going to be perfect, guys. The game's never, never going to be perfect. They added cool modes in multiplayer and Blackout. And it was just a very fun year, in my opinion. I It is my third favorite COD. I think my list is going to stay just like this. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Those are my top 5 CODs. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. <laughs> Black No, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 4, World War 2, and then Black Ops 3. So, Mono Warfare 2 misses out on my top 5. But this is just my opinion, guys, alright? Now, for uh, Mono Warfare 2019, comes out in a few days. I think that it's gonna finish... Hmm. I'm hopeful. I hope it's somewhere at least an A. Like, if it, if Mono Warfare is a B game, I won't be disappointed, right? But, I, I would be a little disappointed, but I won't be mad. It's always next year to get better, correct? But, I think it is gonna be either an A or an S tier game. Apparently there's no drops and all that. All the maps are free. There's a cool battle pass system where they give you everything in the game. You're probably going to have to pay for it like $10 every time a new one comes out. But that's not that bad. $10 and they show you everything that you're going to get if you play long enough. So I think that's cool. I'm hopeful Modern Warfare is an S tier game. I mean I want it to be the best COD ever. But it probably won't be because it's just the nature of it right. But uh, it's it's going to be one of my top 5 CODs I feel like Modern Warfare is going to be a good year. So uh, this is my list guys. Please don't hate in the video. Drop a like. Uh, I doubt anyone watched the whole thing through it. I was skipping a little bit, but if you did, I really do appreciate you. Drop a like. Make sure you sub. Now you have to sub like twice, essentially. You gotta click the bell. So if you are subscribing for the first time, make sure you click the bell and click all so you can see whenever I upload. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.